Where's Kane? <laughs> what? He did this, didn't he? How did you know he was here? Call an ambulance, will you? Mum, how did you know? Call an ambulance now. Do it! You tell Ashley and Nicola about Billings and I. It's not something I joke about. It would break their hearts. That's gonna happen anyway, so it might as well be now. Don't try and shift the blame onto me. I've done nothing wrong. Yeah, well, when I'm with Bernice, it doesn't feel like I'm doing anything wrong either. Carlos, like I said back there, I'm not interested in your excuses or your explanations. If you and Bernice want to be together, get on with it and put the rest of us out of our misery. Can I have some time? How long do you need? Five minutes? Oh, there you are. You've been gone ages. I thought you must have run off together. Sorry, Pat. My fault. A couple of things I needed to sort out with Carlos. Mm, what sort of things? How to make the wool pack better, you know. You can start by giving me a hand in the bar. I'm on my way. Yeah. Is there nothing else we can do? We're keeping him warm. We've just got to wait for an ambulance. Is it going to be all right? I don't know. God, please. So how did it happen? It was an accident. Kane was there, wasn't he? How do you know? What were you doing? You were in bed with him, weren't you? He didn't force me. I wanted to do it. And your granddad walked in on you? He just went mental. He started eating Kane. So what did Kane do? Chuck him down the stairs? They were just fighting. I don't know. I didn't see. And that is the truth. Ollie, you just wouldn't listen to me, would you? Lovely, thank you. Ashley, Denise, hi. Hello. Hello, sweetheart. Hello. Ashley. Hello, how's it going? Oh, as you can see, swimming. It has been non-stop since we opened the doors. Excellent. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have to circulate and catch you later. Oh, before you go, I'm committing here for the photographer. Oh, yes, Ashley. Not again. No, no, Ashley, all in a good cause, remember? Come on. See that man over there, grey suit, wife with big hair and rather too much jewellery. What about him? He owns a small chain of gift shops across the Dales. Uh, I don't think he does. Uh, I'd know him if he did. He only bought them last week. How do you know that? I think we should go and say hello, don't you? Good evening, Reverend, Mrs Thomas. Can I tempt you with a mouth-watering delicacy? And a delicious glass of vintage champagne? You certainly can. It's all very impressive, Marlon. It's all in the planning. Pay meticulous attention to detail, haven't we, Chloe? Well, we tried to create the ideal ambiance for a sophisticated yet relaxed soiree. I'd say you've succeeded. Oh. You two seem to work very well together. Oh, we do, we do. We like champagne and caviar. Pie and peas. <laughs> anyway, muster. Enjoy. Cheers. It looks more like Romeo and Juliet. Don't let Scott hear you say that. <clears throat> Good evening. Hope you haven't been waiting long. No, we just arrived. <laughs> We hope you have a lovely evening. I'm sure we will. If you want anything, just whistle. Whew, whew. Ginny, would you mind terribly if I borrowed Andrew for a minute or two? Any of this one I really want him to meet. Shouldn't you be on the door? Oh, Rodney can cope, so more or less everyone's here now. Judy calls. Oh, sorry, the bus was almost ten minutes late. That's OK. As you can see, we're not exactly rushed off our feet. Where is everyone? Shay Marlon's lucky beggars. Fetch the dirty glasses for us, will you, Mark? Yeah, right. You haven't said anything to her yet. Give me a chance. The longer you leave it, the harder it'll be. It's quiet tonight. I can easily run the bar on my own. I'll see. Now Mark's here, I think I'll put my feet up for an hour or so. You can manage without me, can't you? I suppose so. It'll give you two the chance to have a bit of a natter. You must have plenty to talk about. That's all right with you, isn't it, Carlos? Yeah, sure. See you later, then. Right. What should we do now? There's a bit of washing up needs doing in the kitchen. It won't take you long. Right, OK. <laughs> I like it when it's just you and me. It's good practice for when we get a place of our own. If it ever happens. It will happen. But Lisa's done it, so can we. Don't put her on a pedestal. She's not perfect. Of course not. She's special. I've loved getting to know her and making up for lost time. I won't ever lose touch with her again. You'd get by if you had to. It won't happen. I don't want to tempt fate, but 
Now that I've found her in you, it's like I know what to do in my life. It's the first time I've ever felt like that. I'm not perfect either, you know. Far from it. Something the matter? Carlos? No. Take no notice. I'll go and see how Mark's getting on. Mm. I'll ring your dad, tell him to meet us at the hospital. What, Mark? He was going straight to work from Houghton. I'll tell your dad to pick him up. Mum, it weren't my fault. Can't we just leave it round back? They'll know someone's nicked it then, won't they? Well, they're going to find out anyway. Who's going to tell them? Ah, you've cracked it. Hurry up, will you? Do you think you can manage to get the bike through here? Of course I can. I'm not so sure after the way you rode it. I'm no worse than you. <laughs> you were rubbish. Pack it in, will you? <laughs> Moron! Oh, no, now look what you've done. Oh, I've had enough. You put it back. Where are you going? It's only a scratch. Danny! Love a pipe. <clears throat> Where's Mark? I need to see him. I'll go and get him. Is something the matter? Yeah. What's up? It's your granddad. He's at the hospital. There's been an accident. What sort of an accident? He's fallen down the stairs or something. What? Wow! I don't know anymore. We'll have to find out when we get there. Is it bad? I think so, yeah. Your mum sounded really worried. I hope he's all right. You're going to pour us that pint of what? Didn't you hear what Sean just said? It's not my problem. Uh. Hi, there. Do you remember me? It's Scott, your boyfriend. Oh, I knew there was something familiar about you. Yeah, well, I'm beginning to wonder why I bothered coming. You're here to support a good cause like everybody else. I thought we might spend a few minutes together. At the risk of stating the obvious, I'm working. Chloe, empty glasses. Sorry. Did you say he was an accountant? Uh, I think his exact title is Chief Financial Executive. Hmm. Seems a nice chap. Huh. Shame about the aftershave. <laughs> ah. What is it? I think his name's Barnes. He owns the textile mill just the other side of Hotton. Shall we? A glory at the... I thought I knew all the movers and the shakers around these parts, but you put me to shame. How'd you do it? A careful perusal of one or two key publications and the courage to say hello. I leave the charm to you. Ah, I'm very, very impressed. Oh. Andrew? She's been monopolising you all evening. You know that, don't you? What am I supposed to do? Well, tell her to get stuffed. You came with me, remember? Yeah, and I'm going home with you. That's a promise. Are you taking rather a lot for granted? Am I? Ginny, don't be so selfish. You can't keep the best-looking man in the room all to yourself. Well, perhaps he enjoys my company. Oh, put your bottom lip away. Come on, Andrew, I need a drink. <laughs> Wonderful evening. Yeah, isn't it? Got all the appeal of a trip to the dentist. Without an anaesthetic. Virginia, can you do me a favour? What? Can you act like I've said the funniest thing you've heard in ages? It'll be my pleasure. <laughs> 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 65 year old man, name of Reynolds, fallen approximately 10 feet, unconscious throughout. GCS of 4 and glands of 6. Blood pressure 150 over 100, full regular pulse. Right eye is fixed and dilated, and left is slow to react to life. You wait here. As soon as there's any news, we'll let you know. Please don't let him die. We'll do everything we can. How is he? No news. What are they going to do? Are they going to operate on him? They haven't said. How bad is he? Well, he's unconscious. He didn't look very good. I don't understand. How could he fall down the stairs? He's a fit bloke. He must have tripped. Were you there when it happened? No. Ollie? Um, yeah, I was just getting back from work. And? And I don't know. 
You must have some idea. No, not really. Show him back off here. My dad could be dying. You said not really. What do you mean? Did you see anything? No, Sean. What were you doing, Ollie? I was just in my room and Grandad came upstairs. Go on. It's so Kane. Kane Dingle? Well, he was there. He must have broken in, thought the house was empty. I'll kill him. Where are you going? Where do you think? You should be here with Grandad. Yeah, he's right. Anyway, we don't really know what happened. It doesn't take a genius. Kane's in our house on the rob and my dad catches him at it. Just leave it to the police. Not right now. Yeah. Besides, if you go after Kane, that'll only make things worse. I'll call the station. If he's hurt my dad. Come on, let's just go get some coffee. Do you have to? Yeah. And by the time they get here, we better have our story sorted out. I know you said I shouldn't say anything, but I couldn't keep it to myself. I was hoping he'd tell me what you did, that I'd been imagining it, but he didn't. He must think I'm stupid. No, you did what you felt was right. I don't blame you for that. I feel like I've lit the blue touch paper and cleared off. What do you think's happening out there? You'll find out soon enough. Do you think I should go to Marlon's and talk to her, tell her what I said to Carlos? That's the last thing you should do. You're too upset and it wouldn't do any good. I'm frightened. Can you get away from this place now? No problem. Why? Come to my place. Stay the night. See how it looks tomorrow. There might be blood on the carpet. Well, whatever happens, we'll deal with it in the morning. You're absolutely certain you didn't see what happened. They were pushing each other, fighting. But your granddad threw the first punch. I've told you! If your dad finds out that you and Kane were sleeping together, he'll kill him. So what are we going to do? We don't want it to go to court. If it does, they'll find out that you and Kane were sleeping with each other. So you'll have to tell the police that he was there as a friend. That you invited him in. That you were just listening to CDs, that's all. But you've already told Dad that Kane broke in. Yeah, well then, I'll tell him that I was guessing that I didn't know that you and Kane were seeing each other. It's the only way, Ollie. If you don't tell them that, then the papers will find out about it. They'll drag it out for months and we don't want that, do we? What about Grandad? What's he gonna say? Well, we'll deal with him when he comes around. If he ever does. Great, thanks. Thank you. Did you get a copy of that? A souvenir of a memorable evening? I'm glad you've enjoyed it. Hmm, I have. I couldn't have wished for a more charming companion. <coughs> Feelings mutual. Anybody else you think we should meet? No, I think we can relax and enjoy the rest of the evening. But, um, before we do... Yes? When the chap from the magazine asked if I was the future Mrs Pollard, you didn't deny it. Should I have done? Were you offended? On the contrary. I was thinking when we finished, you might like to come back to Oakwell. To review the success of the evening, that sort of thing? Yeah, that sort of thing. Uh, the three of us could go back. I wasn't thinking of inviting Virginia. No, I didn't think you were. What are you doing here? I told you to keep well away. Oh, come on, Auntie T, give me a break. I'm bored out of my brains. You tell him, Andrew. <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm off duty. I'll behave myself. I promise. You are better. Cheers. You're a star. Oh, hey, I'm really sorry. It's all right. No, I'm done. I'm Julian. Who are you? Chloe. Has anyone ever told you you're the most beautiful girl on the planet? Happens all the time. Enjoying yourself? I think it's been a marvellous evening. How about you, Vinny? Yeah, I've had a lovely time, thanks. Shame Nicola couldn't come, though. Yes, it would have been nice to, to have both my girls here. I could go and take over for the last hour or so, if you like, and then she could come. Oh, well, that would be great. Thank you. Uh, excuse me. You don't mind, do you, Ashley? I'll come with you. Well, aren't you supposed to be giving Tara a hand with the auction? 
Yes, you're right. Um, you go. I'll see you back at the vicarage. I might be quite late. Oh, I'll be brave. <laughs> Thanks. We've given Mr Reynolds a scan and I'm afraid we have found a blood clot. As agreed, they're operating now to remove it. It's going to be all right, though, isn't it? I'll have a better idea after the operation. He's tough, my old dad. He's indestructible. He's got years left. Can we see him? We'll see how he is when he comes out of theatre. Are you sure you won't come? I'm positive. I've got the kitchen to do, love. Dad will look after you. He's dying to show you off. OK, thanks, beneath your mate. Mm -hmm. See you. You could have gone with her, you know. I wanted some time with you. Just the two of us. Yeah, well, that's why I thought I'd come back. I thought we could close early. I can't see there being a late rush. Oh, well, there's no need to do that. Well, you can't make love to me down here, can you? I'll tell him we're closing in five minutes. Bernice, no way. What is it? Um, the reason I wanted to see you on your own. No, don't. We have to end it. No. Oh, we do. No. If we carry on seeing each other, we will bring pain and hurt to the people we love, and I won't do that. But it doesn't have to be like that if we're careful. Sooner or later, we'll get found out. But you still want me, don't you, as much as I want you? You know I do. Well, don't. Please. My mind's made up. I've been thinking about you all evening. Stop it. Can't we just... one last time? It won't be just one last time, will it? It has to end here, now. Don't make it any more difficult, eh? The final item is this exquisite cameo brooch kindly donated by Mr Eric Pollard. Well done, Eric. Shall we start at £20? Thank you. £30. Hey, it's worth a lot more than that. I think we know that, Eric. Thank you, madam. £40. Thank you. £50. £60. Thank you. Do I hear £70? I'm glad you could make it. 80, 90, 100 pounds. Any advance on 100 pounds? 120? Do I hear 130 pounds? 130, anyone? Do you like it? Mm, it's gorgeous. If there's no advance on 120 pounds... 200 pounds. It's very generous of you, Rodney. It's for a good cause. In that case, sold to Mr Rodney Blackstock for 200 pounds. Oh, well, well, well. My pleasure. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, um, uh, I'll give you the final figure before you leave, but it looks as though we've raised in excess of five thousand pounds. Whatever the total is, Reverend Thomas, I will double it. Thank you, Lady Tara. I might have bought you um, that much, it, it remains to me. but I Thank didn't think it was us. quite your style. This event so generously. Is that right? Enjoy the rest of the evening. I reckon you like things more. Down to work. Oh, do you mind? Hello, Angie. Nick. I understand there's been some kind of incident at your house. You shouldn't be here. You should be arresting Kane Dingle. All right, Sean. He broke into our house. My dad caught him red handed, and Kane Dingle shoved him down the stairs. We can't be certain of that. Did you see him do it? No. Well, have you got any proof? It's obvious. Was there anybody else in the house at the time of the incident? <coughs> Yeah, I was. Well, I'll need to take a statement. We're just waiting for some news of Len. Can't I wait till the morning? Well, you know I can't do that. Please, Mick, as a favour to me, please. OK. Meantime, I'll go and find Dingle. Ask him a few questions. You'd better lock him away for his own good. Yeah, all right, Dad. Come on. May I congratulate you on your taste, Rodney. I've always had a weakness for beautiful things. Mm, he spoils me. He still thinks I'm his little girl. You are. <laughs> Come on, let's get to now. Excuse us. Are you pleased with the way the evening's gone, Lady Tara? Indeed I am. So far, everything's gone according to plan. We're delighted to have been part of it, aren't we, Eric? Oh, absolutely. As a local business, I think it's important to put something back into the community. Don't you agree? Oh, yes, I'm all for that. Now, if you'll excuse us. We've arrived, Eric. Mm -hmm. What time do you finish? Ooh, way past your bedtime? You know, that's weird. At exactly that precise moment, I was thinking of bed as well. God, you're a smooth talker. Talking's not all I'm good at. Oh, don't tell me you know how to tie your own shoelaces. 
Um, the photographer wants one more picture. You hand me a cheque for the appeal. Oh, OK, fine. Don't go away. He's also interested in Julian being here. He's quite like a picture of the two of you, you know, the family connection. Absolutely not. I don't want anywhere near a camera. I want a silly face. <laughs> OK. <sighs> Let me walk you home. No, thanks. Please. I'm in love with you. What? Is she bothering you? Huh? Nothing I can't handle. Mind your own business. Just leave her alone. Come with me, Chloe. This place <laughs> is full of ignorant peasants. Boy, you deaf as well as stupid. Get your hands off me. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Julian! What the hell are you doing? It wasn't my fault. Why do you this You've tried to ruin my entire evening. And you have not used any of those photographs. You seem to have your hands full, Tara, so um, we'll leave you to it. Well, well, you don't have to go, surely. Well, I've got an early start in the morning, but thanks for a lovely evening. Oh, looks like you missed out. We were just talking, that's all. You mean you weren't trying to make me jealous or anything? Of course not. No, no, of course you don't do jealousy, do you? <laughs> Don't give up, Dad. We need you.